Hi boys and girls, morning. Trust we've been doing fine. We are doing great, we are praying for you. And our God is able. We believe very soon things will resume to normal. In front of you is teacher Rachel Karanja and teacher Mark here. So before we start, we'll say a word of prayer. When we want to pray, we stretch our hands, we put them together, we bow our heads, we close our eyes, and then we pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning. We want to thank you for this beautiful day you've given unto us. We want to thank you because of the bread of life. We want to thank you because of the good health you've given unto us. We want to thank you for the wonderful parents, wonderful guidance you've given unto us. Lord, we want to pray today as we learn of your word. May you speak to our hearts, O oh God. May your word uplift us, O oh Jehovah Father, at our level. We thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we want to pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, so today we are so glad to minister to you. And uh, we'll do praise and worship. Please, Mr. Rachel. Please, Mr. Rachel. Please, thank you. Nita tangaza neno la kebwana kwa mataifa mbali mbali o Nita tangaza neno la kebwana kwa mataifa mbali mbali o na watoto tuimbe na tumsifu bwana Tuimbe na tumsifu bwana sisi wote tuimbe na tumsifu bwana tuimbe na tumsifu bwana nitatangaza neno lake bwana kwa mataifa mbali mbali o nitatangaza neno lake bwana kwa mataifa mbali mbali o Sisi wote tuimbe na tumsifu bwana tuimbe na tumsifu bwana tuimbe na tumsifu bwana tuimbe na tumsifu bwana God is so good God is so good God Give us the word of God. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're fine and blessed. My family and I are good. We miss you here in church, but we pray that God will come through for us so that we can come back to, to church as soon as possible. So I thank God for giving me the opportunity to share the word of God today. And today we shall be guided by a theme that we can trust what God says. We shall repeat, we can trust, trust what, what God, God says. says. Yes, so today we're going to hear the story of Abraham and three, visit, and three men who visited him. And that is why we shall be guided by that theme of we can trust what God says. So the, the story is found in the book of Genesis chapter 18 verses 1 to 15. So I hope all of you have your Bible so that we can follow through together. Tichama, can you read for us Genesis chapter 18, verses 1 to 15? Yes, here we are. Genesis chapter 18, verses 1 to 15. And so I read. The Lord appeared to Abraham near the great trees of Mamre, 
while he was sitting at the entrance, entrance to his tent in the heat of the day. Abraham looked up and saw three men standing nearby. Where he saw them, he hurried, for the, he, hur he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed low to the ground. He said, if I have found favor in your eyes, my Lord, do not pass your servant by. Let a little water be brought, and then you may all wash your feet and rest under this tree. Let me get you something to eat, so you can be refreshed and then go on your way. Now that you have come to your servant, very well, they said. Do you? Very well, they said. Do as you say. Verse 6. So Abraham hurried into the tent to Sarah. Quickly, he said. Get three shards of finest flour and knead it to bake some bread. Then he ran to the herd and selected a choice tender calf and gave it to a servant who hurried to prepare it. He then brought some coats of milk and the calf that he had been prepared and set, the, and set this before him. When they ate, he stood near them under a tree. Where is your wife, Sarah? They asked. There, in the tent, he said. Then one of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Now Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent, which was behind him. Abraham and Sarah were already very old, and Sarah was past the age of childbearing. So Abraham loved so, sorry. so Sarah laughed to herself as she thought, Am I worn out and my Lord is am I old am I worn out and my Lord my Lord and my Lord is old? Will I know will I know have this pleasure? Then the Lord said unto Abraham, Why did Sarah love and say, Will I really have a child now that I am old? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Sarah was afraid, so she, she lied and said, I did not love, but, it's, but he said, yes, you did. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we come before you this morning. We pray that even as we learn your word, you shall be together with us. Guide me even as I, as I teach your children this morning. In Jesus' name we do pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. So thank you, Teacher Mark, for reading for us very well. Welcome. So we've heard in that story that one day, Abraham was seated out, outside his tent, and it was a very hot afternoon. The sun was very hot and, you know, very hot. So suddenly, Abraham looks up and sees three men walking towards his tent. So he hurriedly woke up and bowed before the men, and he greeted them and said, if I have found favor with you, my lords, do not pass me by, welcome into my tent. So the, the visitors agreed to come in and they sat under a shade. So Abraham told them, as you rest there, I'm going to give you some water. You wash your feet, out from, get the dust off your feet, and I'll also give you something to eat and drink. So as the visitors rested there, uh, Abraham rushed into the house to talk to Sarah and went and told him, Sarah, we have visitors. Kindly bake them some bread while I go to the field and look for some good meat to make for our visitors. So Abraham went and looked for the, the, the goat and was making for them some, for the visitors, some buzi choma. So as they sat, the visitors sat there uh, and Abraham was watching, one of the visitors asked them, asked Abraham, Abraham, and where is your wife Sarah? So Abraham replied and said, Sarah is seated in the tent. And one of the men told Abraham, a time like this next year, I will come back and Sarah will have a baby boy. So Sarah was in the tent and she overheard the visitors talking with Abraham. And she heard him say that he's going to have a baby. So Sarah laughed, ha, 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 in the tent. And she's thinking, oh, I'm very old. 
my husband is very old, how are we going to have a baby? Then one of the men asked uh, Abraham, and why did Sarah laugh? Doesn't she, is anything too hard for God? I promise you, Abraham, a time like this next year, Sarah is going to have a, a son. A son. And uh, let us read Genesis 21, verses 1 and 3. Genesis 21, 1 to 3. Read for us, teacher Mark, please. Genesis 21, 1 to 3. So I read, Now the Lord was gracious to Sarah, and, his, and he had said, as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah what he had promised. Sarah became pregnant and bore a son, Abraham, in his old age. In his old age. At the very time God had promised him, Abraham gave the name Isaac to the son Sarah bore him. Yes, yeah, so surely after that one year we read, the Bible tells us that Sarah got the baby, yeah? the baby boy Isaac was born. So boys and girls, what do you think Abraham and Sarah felt when they had this good news? Teacher Mark, what do you think they felt? Abraham and Sarah were very happy. Yes, they were very happy. Indeed, their wait for a baby had, had come to an end, so they must have been very happy. And so why do you think these three men visited Abraham and Sarah? The reason three, the, the three men visited Sarah and Abraham, it's because when you read Genesis in the beginning about Abraham, God had promised Abraham that he'll be a father of many nations. So what we are seeing is God fulfilling his promises. Yes, basically. Yes, teacher Mark. They are basically they visited so that Abraham and Sarah can know that we can trust what God says. says. Yes. So like Abraham and Sarah, we might have prayed or waited for a very long time for something. It could be work in school not going well. It could be the businesses of our parents not going well. It could be that we've prayed very many coronavirus will end. Oh yes, we have prayed for very many months that this coronavirus will end. Boys and girls, the Lord is reminding us today, it does not take, it does not matter how long it takes. God, we can trust what God says he can do. Every promise that is in the Bible, we need to stand on it and know that we can trust what God says. says. Yes. So whatever problem we may be going through or whatever situation we are, is with us, the Lord has promised he will never leave us, he will never forsake us, and we can always trust what God says. He is a promise-keeping God. He is the God of the impossible. Just like he gave Abraham and Sarah a baby, he can do it for us also. He can keep his promises to us. In fact, our, our, the Bible has reminded us that when Abraham and Sarah had this baby Isaac, Abraham was 100 years and Sarah was 90 years. So it doesn't matter how long it takes, God fulfills his promises and God always does what he says we, he can do and therefore we can always trust what God says. says. Alright? So let us always remember that we can trust what God, God says. says. Alright? Thank you and let us pray. Everlasting Father, we come before you this morning in thanksgiving and in praise. We want to thank you for speaking to us this morning. How we pray, loving Father, that we shall give us the grace and the Holy Spirit to help us to always trust that you are going to do what you say you will do. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we do pray and give thanks. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. So thank you so much, Rachel, for the word. Indeed, the Lord will always keep his promises. So there's a song we're going to sing, and uh, it's called Standing by the Promises of God.
All right. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed singing with us, standing in the promises of God. And that brings us to our memory verse today. And our memory verse today is taken from the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verses uh, 19a. Numbers 23, verses 19a. What does it say, teacher Mark? That God, God is not a man that, that he should lie, or a son, son of, of man that he, he should change, change his mind. mind. Alright, let's repeat it. God, God is not a man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should change his mind. Yes, we bless the Lord. And everything he says, he will do. Everything God says, he will do. And let, let us always remember Numbers 23, 19, and may God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Teacher Rachel, for the wonderful word. The Lord is not a man he can lie. He'll always keep his promises. Let us pray. Our Lord and our Father, we want to thank you because you're the one who was, who is, and who is to come. You're the Lord who promised Abraham that he'll have a son in Sarah, and they had a son. You promised Abraham he will be a father of nation, and indeed he became. We want to thank you in our lives, his Sunday school children, that whatever you've promised us, oh God, it will come to pass, oh God. We want to thank you for the word that you've given unto us. We want to pray because of our parents. May you bless the work of their hands. We want to pray because of our parents. We want to pray because of our church. We want to pray, Jehovah Father, for each and everything. Oh Lord, remembering Kenya, remembering the whole globe. My God, we want to pray because of the pandemic we have of coronavirus. May you hide us under your wings, oh my Father. We bless you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen and amen. May the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the love of God and, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And amen. Bye-bye.